For more on this tonight, we turn to former Pentagon official Michael Malouf. He recently just returned from Iran, where he spoke at the International New Horizon Conference. Michael, nice to have you with us tonight. Uh, I would like you to give our audience a sense of what the Iranian people are saying with this deal being canceled by the United States. Uh, are they apprehensive? Are they nervous? Certainly, they must believe that the United States is looking at regime change. Tell us well, what the Iranian people are thinking. Well, um, they are. They're, they're very cautious at this point. They are looking uh, to the possibility of regime change uh, as, as, as a motive behind all this. But what emerged from the conference was uh, two things. Not only the, the notion that uh, John Bolton is uh, now the national security advisor, and there isn't a regime change he doesn't love, but also the fact that um, uh, as a result of the sanctions against Iran and the resistance by the Europeans and other countries who trade with Iran, there seems to be developing an, uh, an, uh, an alternative world order, if you will, that will have the impact of and effect of isolating the United States economically because uh, the, the notion is that no one can any longer trust the United States in, in terms of uh, keeping contracts and, and negotiations because of, because of the sanctions that are, that are occurring. Secondly, uh, the Iranians are very concerned that uh, uh, Israel as a policy in the United States is, is, is interfering with any direct bilateral negotiations with the, with the Iranians. They don't know whether uh, Trump controls Netanyahu, the, the prime minister of Israel, or Netanyahu controls Trump. But uh, the, the reality is that they are uh, being cautious in, in terms of their, of, of their response, but they're also looking to other ways of, of uh, trade, and they've already begun uh, uh, more, 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 more robustly, if you will, with uh, Russia and, and with China. And this yeah. is probably going to continue uh, uh, even in a, in a far more uh, voluminous way. And I, I, I suspect that we're going to see a, a reinvigorated uh, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Uh, and, and also the fact that because, because Iran kept its uh, word on, on the agreement, but Trump uh, left and broke it, uh, that that uh, uh, President Putin of Russia yeah. might inv actually invite invite Iran to the to the SCO as a as a member. Do you think that the Iranians will stay in the deal for the European countries and the rest of the UN Security Council that signed on to this? That's got certainly an economic impact to all of this, or is this just a war footing? No, I think the, the, the Iranians will stay in as long as they can. I think the, the, the issue is, can the Europeans hold out? Now, what we're seeing is, uh, when I was over in, in Iran, I heard that uh, uh, Theresa May was, uh, uh, because of Brexit, she was pulling out of the EU and looked to the U.S. for an alternative market. But e uh, U.K. companies also could become uh, sanctioned. And, and uh, so she, she's got to look for alternative markets for uh, U.K. products. She's turning to China. Okay. Michael Malouf, thank you for your time tonight. Pleasure. We'll do more on this big subject, no doubt. Thank you.